What do you think is a reasonable price for a remake remaster? Like, I don't want to talk about this, but I will because I know because of that. I mean, I, I guess I owe you an explanation. So I just deleted this morning my top 10 best JRPG remakes so far. Uh, it was a massive failure of a video. And it was because of several reasons. One of those, I've seen videos that I've done in the past fail for one reason, maybe two. And okay, I get it, right? But this video was like 10,000 things at the same time. And my, and this thing is related to your question, Gaming G. I, I'm getting there. Be patient. I'll answer that question. I have been planning that video for a long time. About three years ago, I said to myself, I want to make a top 10 best JRPG remasters, but best and another, another one called best JRPG remix. But then since then, I started noticing that, man, it's just ridiculous how many people can't tell the difference between a remaster and a remake. And I, it used to piss me off. It used to piss me off, but nowadays I'm like, I see games like Neo Replicant or like Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition, and I'm like, with games like that, games like that, I'm like, what? What is this? Is this a remix? Some, I'm, I'm just saying that some remasters nowadays are so freaking good, and there's so many new things to them that a lot of people don't know if they're remix or remasters. And the freaking developers are to blame because they don't go out there and tell you, hey, this is a remake or this is a remaster. Instead, they do Star Ocean: The Second Story R. Oh, what? What is R? What does R stand for, Square Enix? Remake or remaster? You know, I have experience, you know, this is what I do for a living, this is my job, so I need to know. I do my research, right? And Star Ocean The Second Story that came out last year is a remake. The game was redone from scratch. They didn't remaster something already done. They started the game from zero, okay? And they just used the script of the original game. That's all they did, but everything else was remade. So that's a remake, I can tell you that for certain. But Putting the R in there, in the title, instead of Final... Why not be like Final Fantasy VII Remake, right? Instead, R. So it pisses me off, man, and it kept bothering me year after year after year until... You know what I did this year, earlier this year, I was like... You know what I'm gonna do? I'm not gonna do a top 10. All I'm gonna do is gather a lot of clips from my old videos where I talked about uh, remasters and put them together in a compilation. That's what I did, that, that, that was my first video of this uh, year, of January. So I made that compilation and it was successful. It was an hour long compilation. I was like, man, this is gonna fail miserably because a lot of people are gonna be saying like, oh, where's Star Ocean? Where's Super Mario RPG? Where, like, wait, dude, those are remix, you know? But I, I kind of mentioned at the beginning there will, be, there will be no remix and I put those two. And then at the end, I mentioned uh, Neo Replicant and God Eater Resurrection. I was like, guys, I'm not sure about these two. Uh, they seem like remakes to me, but that's never been confirmed. And you go to Wikipedia and they're treated as remasters. So it's just, this. All I, what I'm trying to say is that this is generating a lot of confusion. So I said to myself, you know what? I made a remasters compilation. I feel like I, I owe my audience, I owe you guys like a video about remakes to differentiate them both. So you can have both videos. And say, oh, these are remix and these are remasters, right? But in the remix video, I put Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. I put New Replicant in there. And they aren't exactly 100% remade from scratch. You know, they really reused a lot of assets. And they shouldn't have been there. But then, uh, what video do they belong to? Like, maybe I'm gonna have to do a video later called Top 10 JRPs are both a remake and a remaster. Or they're kinda, no one's gonna watch that. Right, so I got like frustrated, man. Still, I tried my best. I came up with the best list that I could. I was honest, you know, I'm, I wasn't going to put Final Fantasy VII Rebirth on the first places. I'm not sorry, you know, I haven't played the game. I played the original and in my opinion, it's not deserving of the first place. Uh, and apparently that must have pissed a lot of people off. And then I admit it, you know, I opened the video with several games that I know for a fact most of you don't give a shit. Live Alive? I do recommend the game, guys, but I know for a fact you, you're not gonna play it. Front Mission, you guys don't give a shit. Well, some of you do, of course, right? But it's the kind of game most people don't care about. And then what else was there? I mean, Trials of Mana, I have already talked about it a million times, so I'm pretty sure a lot of people just clicked away, so... Several things made the video fail. Why uh, this endless debate about the cost of a remaster or a remake? 
right? And this is connected to my video, you know, because one of the reasons why I deleted my video is because I didn't feel comfortable with it. It was a failure and I just, I was like, when I watched the video, when I finished the video, when I uploaded the video and then watched it again, I was like, something's off with this video. Like, I don't know, like, two games shouldn't be here. And I, I, I immediately noticed the problem that maybe the video was too soon because as you, if you watch the video, you noticed it. There's barely any remakes. There's a crap ton of remasters, and you can watch, again, my comp my remasters compilation on Modern Systems. Man, there's over, over 50 JRPG JRPGs that have been remastered in the past few years. Over 50, and I missed a lot of them. A lot of JRPG remasters were in that compilation. But when I started doing this remix video, I was I struggled with the list. I was like, dude, I, I don't even have 15. I was like, what else is there? Atelier Marie? I didn't play that. It kept me thinking, you know, there's barely any remakes. Like, remakes. Dude, someone's... Look, you're just proving my point, man. Final Fantasy XII is not a remake. That's a remaster. So, I, I, I watched my own video and I was like, people don't know the difference between a remake and a remaster. They just don't. I feel like developers themselves, not just YouTube, or maybe big influencers, like big, big YouTubers, you know, they, these guys need to come out and say and explain the difference to you so their videos can have millions of views and therefore now millions of people will be informed of the difference between both, okay? Or, but I, I really do believe that the developers themselves need to stop pulling this shit, man. Like, Star Ocean, the second story, R. Don't call it R, man. Tell us what it, tell the people what it is so they can know, oh, this is a remake. They didn't do anything with Super Mario RPG. They just called it Super Mario RPG. Why not just Super Mario RPG Remake? So people can know the difference. And so I made that video, the top 10, and I'm, I didn't read the comments, but I'm pretty sure a lot of people were like, where's this game? Where's this that? Where's Final Fantasy 12? And man, I was like, man, those are remasters, but I'm pretty sure because of this confusion, a lot of people are going to be wondering, where's this and that game? So I deleted the video, guys. There's no point in making a video about something, about a topic that's got people confused and that most people are ignorant about. They just don't, they can't tell the difference between a remake and a remaster. Okay, and I'm not blaming you. You need to be a little bit more knowledgeable and understand assets, understand like resolutions, frame rate, understand like... Uh, the technical, the technical technicalities of a video game, like to to know about sprites, to know about 3D models, to I mean, yeah, most of you don't know what I'm talking about. I can't blame you, right? I can't blame you for being confused, which is why I think people that are far more knowledgeable than me, including the developers themselves, should go out and explain the difference. But instead, what they do, call their games R. Or just the title of the game as if it was a freaking reboot. At least Square Enix had the decency to call Final Fantasy VII Remake as a remake. But then Rebirth says Rebirth. It's not Final Fantasy VII Remake Rebirth. Or Part 2. No, it's Final Fantasy VII Remake Rebirth. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Like, what the... F so, yeah, the video is gone, guys. So now, sorry for the long-winded rant. To answer your question, man... Uh, how much should a remake or a remaster cost? Well, there's your answer. People don't even know the difference, man. But in my opinion, as someone who can actually tell the difference, I think a remake is okay to be to be uh, priced almost as almost the same as as a regular game because it's also a new game. A remake is a new game. A company made it from scratch and they spent a crap ton of money. It's it's a game they rebuilt. It's just that using the same script. The same characters, right? But they redid everything. It's redoing a game from scratch. So in my opinion, it, I think it's justified that a remake should cost the same as a normal release, as a standard new game. A remaster, however, I'm with you guys. It has no freaking reason to cost 60 or $70. That's just ridiculous. In my opinion, a remaster should cost half of that. Like 40 bucks max, maybe 50 Like Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne Remaster, when it came out... I don't remember how much it was in the US or in Canada, I live in Mexico, remember that? But when it came out it was $60. This is just a remaster, it's not a remake, you didn't redo the game from scratch. All you did was, you use the same game and embellish it. And make it a little bit better, improve it. You painted over it. But you didn't redo anything from scratch, and you want $60 for it? 
that's just ridiculous, right? It's just... But then what I'm trying to say is that because of this ignorance, I believe companies are taking advantage of it, right? Since they realize most people can't tell the difference between a remake and a remaster, they're taking advantage of it. They're like, oh no, this is a brand new game. People are going to believe this is a remake. They don't know the difference, so let's just put it on $80. Who cares? They're going to pay for it anyway.